So, I was taking out the recycling today and saw this and it gave me a brilliant idea. It's been a while since I made some dro. So you know me, I don't like to spend any money in anything that I do if I don't have to. So we're going to take this and this cheese ball pack. Two things that you might have around the house. We're going to need some clay pellets. A whole bunch of these bad boys. We're going to need a aquarium air pump. And I got a little bit of hose here. And this is a double. So two airlines actually come out of this. You're going to need an air stone or two. And I've just got regular, plain, common uh, gardening pots. But uh, if you've seen my 2 liter grow video, I grew some hydro on a 2 liter. This, the roots came out of this perfectly fine and it holds in the clay pellets. Uh, we're also going to need some rock wool cubes. Oh, whoops. Uh, now, you're going to have to thoroughly rinse the rock wool cubes with pH balanced water. From what I understand, rock wool comes at about 7.4, 7.5 pH. So you're going to want to rinse this for about 10 or 20 minutes with uh, pH balanced water, like uh, 6.5 pH, I believe. 6.5 to 6.8. And um, then you'll be able to put your seeds in without it being too acidic for the uh, seedlings. So, first thing we're going to want to do, start with this. Now, it's going to hang in this little overlap right here. Uh, that's what's going to keep this suspended. So, we're going to want to kind of measure around the bottom diameter and kind of widen it out from there. And the same thing with this. I think I'm going to put the air hose in this section, put the air hose in that section for that, and basically remove this and put the pot there. So, we're going to need some kind of knife to start cutting. And uh, let's do this. An old box cutter and a sharpie, and I'm just going to measure. Fo. Oh yeah. Take our rock wool cubes, we'll wet these on up, then I'll put the seedlings in and everything, and we'll come on back. Now, this was a B, much worse than I thought, but I got it off. Pot fits pretty good. A rock wool rinsed all out, and it's just sitting in a... Uh, I have well water here, so it's pretty decent. I don't have to worry about it. I've never had a complaint. I've never tested it. No problems. Um, now, I know you're thinking this might be primitive, but honestly, the last time I did something like this, the two liter grow, it was some bag seed and the fruitiness, the aroma, and even the flavor rivaled. Uh, I had dragon's breath I had gotten for free from ordering some seeds, and I couldn't really tell the two apart. So you can say what you want, but this is going to work just fine. We're going to need some seed. I just sprouted these bad boys. I almost forgot a very crucial part. You definitely want to rinse the pellets off before you use them because once that there's a lot of dirt and dust that comes off of it and you cannot get it out once you get it in. Rinse them off, uh, drain them five times so they're good to go. Let's do this.
Now we're gonna fill this up. I know this is 1.64 gallons. So this is pretty decent for DWC uh, or karate technique. I usually do in the beginning, try and keep the water up. And then as it grows, you know, keep the water about halfway just so the bubbles keep the roots moist. And that seems to give it a more vigorous growth. This is a mystery. So let's find out. We've got bottled water we're just gonna pour right over the top to make sure the clay pellets and the rock will stay moist. So, they're inside the grow tent. This actually took about, uh, same as this one, like 164, 164. We have this hooked up. Let's listen to the magic. I hear bubbling. Let's check it out. This is submerged. Seed in there. Seed in. Water in. Let's activate. Better view for you. Pick her on up. That's the magic of air. Cheap dro. I'm just leaving water for now until these get some roots. Uh, might put some Super Thrive in it, but we'll be back and update it. Just takes something that holds water. Take a pot, some rock wool, you can make your own dro for cheap. They stretched a lot because I had them in the back of the tent reaching for light. Kind of the way this one's dimmed out in the back. But uh, I'm going to correct it. Uh, I'm not going to let these get too big. I'm probably only going to let them grow about, say, three weeks and then put them in the flower and kind of see how that goes. Just for demonstration purposes. Hope you enjoy. Hope this inspired you from trash to treasure. DIY Hydroponics 2.0. Happy bubbling.